here we are in front of this eagle soaring RV park. It's uh, about 7.30 in the morning. I woke up early because I was going to paint the uh, bird house. And that did not work out because the sun isn't going to be on the birdhouse until probably about noon. <laughs> so, anyway, it was a nice, nice morning. I watched the sunrise and all the colors change. And that was beautiful. I wish I could have painted that. I'd have to paint like lightning speed. Anyway, so here I am. I'm going to try and capture this today. And by the road. So it's pretty loud. But thank God I got my headphones. And uh, yeah, let's we'll see how this turns out. I think it's pretty cool. I don't know. I guess I should get you a little closer. Just so you can check it out. I guess you'd call it a replica piece. Anyway, we'll see how it goes. All right, so I just did a quick little sketch just to, uh, yeah, just to feel it out and have fun. I like having a sketch. <clears throat> I guess one thing I really noticed in the sketch is that these spokes, these spokes here, are really displaced and so yeah I hope I can capture that maybe maybe the shadows too yeah that's nice those shadows are nice anyway and I don't I, I don't think I'm gonna put it on the on the wood I'll try and make it look look something like this uh, let's see Something like that. I think that's a little... I don't know. Those blocks of wood, they would be weird in the painting. Yeah, so let's get to painting. It took a lot longer than I expected to do this sketch, but finally got something, something down, and so, uh, yeah, now the fun part starts. I got my long sleeves on so I don't burn anymore, because up here I realized the other day that, uh, yeah, I burned pretty bad. So, you know, pretty bad. It was fun. It was a good learning experience.
Okay, after uh, doing this all day, it's now about five o'clock. I took a break to let the paint dry and moved in from way out there because I was dying in the heat. I got a banging headache. I was uh, up at six, out there at 7.30 and worked at 11. Took a break for an hour, put some ice on my head. And uh, yeah, I think it came out great. I really like it. My palette. All right, so funny story when I was out there painting it, uh, the owners drove by the park of Eagle Soren, and I hadn't even finished it really. I, I was actually not going to finish it today. I was just going to stop and let the paint dry completely because trying to paint letters over wet paint is not it's not exactly easy and she said I love your painting I want to buy it when you're finished bring it over so that wasn't any pressure <laughs> but it's nice to uh, have a painting sold before I'm done so thank you and now I'm gonna walk it over to her and uh, yeah we'll take some pictures All right. okay I'm back uh, so yesterday we went to FM light and Sons and Danielle bought me this hat. Thank you. Thank God, because my face has been burning in the sun and my neck is burning. My ears actually are sunburned, if you can believe that. So she said, you know, I think this is going to be your lucky hat. And I was like, well, I love this hat. And it wasn't cheap, but we bought it anyway. And yeah, I guess it is my lucky hat because I just took the uh, painting over and I gave her the price and she loved it really loved it and that really made me feel so great for her to have that that much identity with the painting it made me feel so great <laughs> 